done. There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record them. Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden, hi, 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 hi. Hey, Dad, you know how we, we usually are taught in life by society to define taking shit as being not a good thing? A lot of crap. Yeah, well, why, why don't we show uh, everybody watching on YouTube at home how taking shit can actually be a good thing? First, you carefully remove a chunk of the surface grass. Make sure there's more than enough of the root structure intact so that the grass does not go into shock. Then, you dig your hole where you remove the surface grass. And you put the dirt into a bucket. Next, you add in your fertilizer and water reservoir materials, otherwise known as kitty shitty. Now, you add in your office and garden waste. You heard me right. See that paper shredder remnant? Yes. Junk mail now has a new purpose. So all of your garden stuff. Oh wow, idiots. So all of your garden stuff that you might have ignorantly thrown away in the garbage can, you can mulch into fresh dirt right along with some um, papers that you have shredded from your office be they junk mail or whatever else. So now you can recycle both. I mean, if garbage is going into a landfill anyway, then you may as well do it in such a way to where it benefits you. Now the kitty shitty, the litter part of it, is going to, well, it holds cat pee, right? So there's no reason it won't hold water. In fact, it will. That creates a water reservoir for your lawn and surrounding garden so that on those hot days the grass isn't taking such a beating. So you're not wasting anything. You're saving money because then you don't have to buy dirt and mulch and all that. See yeah, how this stuff looks a lot like the mulch you might buy at Home Depot or whatever? That's because it's the same basic thing. All it is is mulch leaves and wood chips and, and things like that. So I got twigs and leaves and all sorts of crazy stuff here. So, see, more paper shreddings. So yeah, whether it's junk mail or fallen leaves or bush or grass cuttings or whatever you don't have to waste it you can um, have that benefit you leaving a little bit of a space at the top got to make sure that it's pounded in as hard as possible because as this stuff settles you don't want any dips in your garden or your lawn so you want to make sure the stuff is pounded in <coughs> as good as humanly possible Within a period of several years, this will biodegrade and the worms will go through it and it'll just be pure dirt. <clears throat> and this process can be repeated all over again. Now we're going to take some dirt from our bucket and add it over this. So you want to pound this in like I just did and get this just about leveled to the surface grass line and the reason why is because over time as this decomposes and it's going to happen quickly in a span of months not years this is going to sink in anyway so you're going to want this a little high this grass pocket to be higher because after all is said and done this grass pocket is going to go down and it's going to end up even but if you make it equal to begin with and you don't have that rise bump then what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up with a dip in your lawn an, an infolding dip and um the only infolding dip 
that, uh, you know, we have in Chicago right now is Rahm Emanuel. So, we don't want any other enfolding fucking dips. So, yeah, just a precaution. So now, we have to jump on this like a little kid or a freaking idiot, whatever analogy you want to compare it to. So, jump around, bounce around. You've got to pound that in real good like you'd pound in sod. Oh, you need to just push it down. That's all yeah. you do inside. Yep. So you push that down, and all my grass will be dead. No. It'll be fine. Just like all this is fine. Look at how good this did. Yeah, it takes time. I did the same effect to all this area, and as you could see where the longer grass is growing quicker, it's got the water reservoir under it. The kitty shitty water reservoir. So it does take advantage of that. And now we just take the remaining dirt and distribute that lightly through the garden, but not so thick enough as it's disturbing, you know, new coming seedlings. But just a thin distribution. Okay. Now we're just taking and distributing that uh, residual dirt and our repeat process in a, in a few years. The stuff I just put in will turn into this. And I'll be doing the same thing to that spot again. Nature has its way. And this is beautiful. This coming up real nice. All that yellow. We got the yellow over there. Same, same bush, ain't it? Yeah, it is. That's a baby bush from this. Oh, you transplanted it? Yeah, of course. No, this thing makes baby bushes all the time. Are you kidding? Now we put in fresh litter and the process will be repeated again inevitably. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yeah, isn't that right? Mm hmm Hello. Good boy, what's up? Isn't that right? And then, of course, we water it down. And there we have it. Now that uh, litter fertilizer uh, mix down there is going to hold this water, and it's going to benefit the area. That's all for now.